Well, can you guys all see my screen? Yeah. Awesome. So I'll just play the video demo. And then if you guys have any questions anywhere during the video or after, uh, feel free to speak up and ask. And then I'll just pause the video and uh, we can answer your question. Hello. The company we're working with is Rockago Media, managed by Jake and Douglas. Rockago Media is a talent agency that works with content creators across many different platforms, mainly dealing with legal contracts and deals. Through their work, they benefit the creators they work with by getting them fair deals and advising them legally and financially. For example, they negotiate with brands to work out more favorable terms and conditions for their creators. So our objective is to streamline and automate processes surrounding email management, accounts for receivables, follow-ups, and contract life cycle management with the goal of increasing operational efficiency and enhancing compliance adherence. So this is our team. Our team is consisting of I Lucas, Rex, Brendan, no, Steve, and Cash, and our GI instructor is Alex. Right, so this is stage one, which is email categorization. Because of the sheer number of brands and creators that they work with, Rockago Media gets a huge volume of emails, nearing 300 or more a day. If Jake and Doug want to read all of them, it would take a very long time and just isn't practical. However, some of these emails may contain new opportunities for them and their creators, such as a brand reaching out for a partnership. So in order to not miss these important emails, they needed a way to label each email based on its contents. For their purposes, these labels are new deal lead, which is a brand reaching out to them, brand creator interaction, which is correspondence between a creator and the brand, internal email, which is messages between Rockago employees, such as meeting times, spam, scam, ad, and miscellaneous. One of the most important technologies used for the process is LLMs, or large language models. LLMs are a type of machine learning model which take an example of which includes ChatGPT. LLMs take in a prompt and then output a response accordingly. So in order to get a good output, we have to engineer a prompt to make sure the LLM knew what we were looking for. To do this, we implemented a technique called few shot prompting, which involves providing examples of what you want in the prompt itself. So for example, we included emails classified as new deal lead so that the LLM has something to go off of rather than just a label itself. And this led to our model making more accurate predictions. All right, so this is our pipeline. So for our pipeline, we leverage Zapier, an automation platform that allows you to build a series of steps that completes a certain task. So as you can see, the first step in the pipeline is a trigger or the event that kickstarts the whole process. In this case, the trigger is a new email in the user's inbox. After a new email is detected, the contents are then sent to the open AI step, which prompts our model. At a high level, our prompt asks the model to classify the provided text, which is the email, as either the five categories, which are new deal lead, brand creator interaction, internal email, spam, or miscellaneous. The model then returns the appropriate label, which goes to the add label to email in Gmail step. Uh, Zapier adds the label to a respective email, and the process for one email is completed. For stage two, our main task was contract summarization. For this task, our main goal was to automate Rockago's contract lifecycle while managing legal red lines and compliance adherence. Additionally, our goal was to streamline the contract management process and reduce the potential for errors and non-compliance. Finally, we included training for relevant personnel on how to use and get the most out of our chosen solution. So let's take a look at that solution. So as a firm that manages deals between creators and brands, Rockigo has a lot of legal documents to manage. And Jake and Doug and others at Rockigo previously had been spending a lot of time going through each document page by page and trying to extract like the legal red lines and the deliverables or other key points that the brand and the creator and Rockigo themselves should be aware of. Our solution to this task automates that by getting any file dropped into a Dropbox that we have connected to the Zap and summarizing it into those key points like legal red lines, et cetera, and then sending an email to Jake and Doug of that summary. So that is stage two and we're moving on to stage three now, invoice construction. So Rockago manages deals between creators and brands and they manage a lot of creators. So there's a lot of money flowing to the creators, or the brands, or to Rockigo themselves, and there's a lot of invoice management involved. So our goal for this task was to automate this invoice management, reduce late payments, and simplify the tax tracking of accounts receivables. So let's take a look at our solution to this task. All right, so we have a Zapier pipeline here again. And a quick note on the trigger, 
HubSpot is just a service that Rockago uses to manage their deals between their brands and creators. So our trigger is when a Rockago publishes a deal through HubSpot. Once that deal is published, our Zap is triggered and it splits into two branches based on who, the, who owes who the money and other criteria. Either the invoice goes to the creator or the brand. So the right side branch is the brand and we'll talk about that first. So since brands are like larger organizations, they like the data more structured and organized and the information and deals in spreadsheets. So since that's their preferred format, we create a copy of, a, of an invoice template that we've already made. And we just put in all the information from the HubSpot deal. Then we share that through email with the brand. On the left branch for creator, we just send the creator an email with the fields because creators aren't as particular about having everything in the spreadsheet. This task saves Jake and Doug a lot of time because they manage so many creators that the amount of invoices they have to try to keep track of is sometimes just overwhelming. So automating this as soon as they hit publish on HubSpot to send the brand or the creator, the invoice saves them a lot of time. Now that was stage three, invoice automation. Throughout the internship, we learned how to utilize many new technologies. For example, our main tool, Zapier, and automation pipeline had a new, lot of new parts that we needed to learn. For example, sharing the tools across the team, there is connecting it to the people's accounts such as Gmail, Dropbox, and OpenAI, there is making if statements in the pipeline, and making everything flow well. We also learned the development process well. We started building our projects such as the email categorization, contract summarization, and invoice automation pipelines. Then we had to validate each, testing that the email categorization AI chose the right label, checking with Rakugo if the summary of the contract was sufficient, and to see if the invoice spreadsheets were edited correctly and sent to the corresponding emails. Throughout it, we discovered many problems and learned how to fix issues, whether technical or meeting the correct expectations. We also learned how to prioritize as an engineer. We made sacrifices to what we thought would work well. For example, the contract summarization was originally going to be coded as cool software, but we decided to focus on what the client really asked for and do that the best we can. So we ended up moving to whatever is most efficient for each pipeline. And in the case of the contract summarization pipeline, we moved to Zapier again in order to have things simple for the client. We also learned many soft skills, including communication, presentation, and teamwork. We all had the same larger task and goal to automate Rakugo Media. This made us communicate with each other to understand the progress and difficulties each of us had. We also learned to effectively present our products to our clients, making sure they understand how each pipeline works without throwing technical words at them. We made sure to emphasize the impact of our, of our pipeline so that they know how each one helps them with their day-to-day -day life. Overall, we really enjoyed working together as a team, fitting each of our work together like puzzle pieces to make real finished industry products. Now, Brandon will give a demo of our invoice automation tool. We think this is the most impactful tool. All right, so now I'm going to be doing a quick demo of our invoice automation pipeline, which is stage three in action. I have already generated here a fake contract in Rakugo's HubSpot CRM that we can use to test for the sake of this demo. You can also see some of the properties of the deal here, like the revenue amount, name, and deal owner of this deal. Properties like these ones will be extracted and used to generate our invoice during this entire process. Switching back over to Zapier now, I'm going to activate each part of our pipeline, and afterward, we will be able to see the results.
Okay, I've just finished activating every step of the process and now if we look over in our testing email, a draft should have been created with our invoice attached. So here we see that it did in fact work successfully. And over here, we see the invoice spreadsheet that was indeed created. One last thing to note here is that when this Zapier is in action, all of this is going to be done automatically and we don't need someone like me to click through and activate all of the steps. Thank you. Now for the impact of the internship. We automated two out of the six most time-consuming steps in Rakugo Media's contract life cycles, which will actually translate to a 33% boost in time efficiency. We also sorted and prioritized the hundreds of emails that Rakugo Media receives per day while extracting the important information and any malicious clauses from contracts, which optimizes legal redlining and negotiation while preventing any abusive contracts, which are worth tens of thousands of dollars from being signed. If you take a look at Rakugo Media's HubSpot, they have a total deal amount of $2 million and an open deal amount of $35,000, which we will help them in the long run with our pipelines. All right, that was the end of our demo video. Uh, and that concludes our GI. Do we have like any questions about our entire process, the technology we used or anything else? If not, then I think um, I have I have a question. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah. So so this sounds like um the can, can you talk a bit about um like what are your clients about the solutions you developed? You know, are, are they ready? Like like want to use it? Like um oh. yeah, what do they think? So throughout our three stages, essentially, we split them into three tasks. After we were done with each one and we tested them for one or two weeks, uh, we implemented them right away, meaning that. When we, the moment we finished our first one and tested it sufficiently, ensuring that it works and is up to date, we just implemented it. Yeah, sounds like your client would want to use it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's deployed. It's going to make a real impact. Um, it's built with the client's um, specifications. I, I think this is probably one of the most like, impactful projects that in, in this GI. Yeah. Mm. Um, another thing to note is that since uh, we're technically leaving the GA and we're not going to be there to maintain the infrastructure, we've also created like one to two minute videos that teach them, essentially you could think of it as documentation on how they can edit the infrastructure for future use as well. So it's not, it doesn't stay stagnant or they can fix any errors if necessary. That's a pro move. That's very impressive, yeah. Um, I want to add a comment and, and brag a little bit and also hopefully kind of tell a story here. Um, one thing I can't emphasize enough was right near the end of our, of our GI, we had to make a major pivot. We had the updates to the OpenAI API, which completely derailed our plans to create a custom tool for contract synchronization. And I had a discussion with the team and we said that, look, I know that we wanted to do it this way, but now we have support and ability to do it in Zapier. And for that reason, we have to pivot and we have to deliver on this because the most important thing above all else when delivering on these tools is one, making sure that we do it as cost-effective as possible, as efficiently as possible, and make sure that they last as long as possible. And it was, as Lucas alluded to, a sacrifice because we wanted to build out something custom, but we were given the opportunity to build something that was much faster and much better. Although it wasn't the approach we wanted to take, we had to take it because the most important thing is delivering on what we say we're going to deliver when. So I guess for you guys, this kind of reminds me of what Mike said a couple months back. And it really like, it was kind of the theme of this GI that like what we're doing is providing impact and it's not about the tech itself. It's about teamwork and communication and like tech, as he said, enables the mission. So I thought that was kind of like, uh, like a real kind of awesome moment that the team really shine when, uh, when, it's, when you have to like switch gears. So great job. Team. 
that that's awesome this whole project has been like super impressive to watch um yeah th thanks guys for for putting together a cool a cool demo um th this is the kind of stuff that seems like where llms are going you know it's it's finding real problems using them to be like more efficient and just like finding ways to um fit it into an existing process it it's so cool to see that you guys have already brought efficiency to somebody and i i think this is you know just a start like there's so many um other ways to to continue to implement it and it, it's great to see that you guys got it all the way you know over the line so cool